They think they can rewrite history. That uh, uh, Guy Tory did a beautiful special about the Comedy Store and Fat Tuesday, where he said that Steve and Cedric and Kevin Hart and Tiffany Haddish came through there and made all lies. Steve and Cedric never performed at the Comedy Store at all. Tiffany was only seen at the Laugh Factory. In 15 years in Hollywood, no one in Hollywood has a memory of going to a sold out Kevin Hart show. There being a line for him ever getting a standing ovation at any well, comedy club. He already had his deals when he got here. Have we heard of a comedian that came to his LA. first year in LA? He had his own sitcom on network television and had his own movie called soul plane that he was leading no we've never heard of that before that person or since that person what do you think a plant is maybe people don't understand the consortium they they rock with who they rock with and they don't with who they don't but i'm not scared of being the competition any more than you were when you lined up uh, uh, across from a superior team what i have to say have I'm you ever been on, truth have you ever been on tour with any of these guys the guy I, every guy I mentioned to you is not funny out there in real life. So, so you, no. Faison's never done his own tour in 30 years. Steve Harvey don't do stand up no more. Cedric doesn't write. I'm sorry, he doesn't write. Ricky Smiley has been playing the same old black woman forever. Like you can't get a young fan base with that. Like, you got to be doing karaoke around the country to make that work. Right. And he is. But I'm a stand-up comedian. This is my 19th 100-city tour. I'm not going to have a conversation with these lazy bums that will take a shortcut at any point. Yes, it's easier for you to juice than... Yo, 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 it's Big Ant, the spokesman, man. We back. Another edition of Urban Politicians TV. UPTV, make sure you stay on your pivot at all times, man. Had to come tap in, and it seems that this Cat Williams interview is still having heavy motion and rotation online as it didn't hit 10 million plus views in total on Shannon Sharp YouTube channel with the Club Shay Shay podcast. And I had a link in the description where you can listen to that in full, at because it was a lot more discussed. But as you heard, Cat Williams was going at everybody he felt he had pressure and an issue with. One of them, as y'all heard right there, was Phase of Love. And they actually got issues that go back from 10 years ago. But when he caught wind of the jab uh, yesterday, he went to Instagram and posted up the old 911 call when somebody was saying Cat Williams was holding them hostage. Um, I'm being held against my will um, at in house and I need um okay, do you have addresses of the house? Thirty in Noonan. Okay, and what's your name? Okay, and you're calling from five oh four Yes ma'am. Okay, and who's holding you against your will? Um a man, um his name's Cat Williams. Okay, and then he put in the caption, hold the boys hostage cat. Then he put part two, cat the body snatcher. And then he put all my brothers and sisters were jealous of me because I was an only child. Hashtag something a cat might say. Then he put up the video of Cat Williams getting into it with the teenager that day outside and things like that that was viral years ago and stuff. Now, Cat Williams then went to jail a couple times in the past. We just seen that and everything like that with some little issues and different little incidents that it went down and everything. But they beat go back 10 years ago when it was out there, Faze of Love had said his own, out his own mouth to my understanding that Cat Williams pulled the gun on him and everything. And this is 10 years old. So I guess Cat Williams just said, hey, nigga, while I'm up here, I'm popping on Shannon Sharp. I'm going at niggas that got pressure from 10 years ago. And uh, uh, probably like early last year, you know, I can't remember, it had hit the blogs and hit the news and I seen it recirculate today when he said that Cat Williams was the most overrated comedian in the game and things. Said he didn't have nothing to show for, no classic film, no this, no that. Really went at Cat Williams and Cat Williams responded then. So it seemed like, nigga, that 10-year pressure and smoke that they got is going to continue to be there, man. As I said before, I'm for the entertainment when it comes to this comedy stuff. 
No need to pull no guns on each other. That's old. Niggas is way older now. Y'all get y'all stuff off in that spawn ring, man. Crack y'all jokes. We can sit back and watch the show right here on Instagram on the timeline. The algorithm for chaos go push it to us. Or y'all go hit y'all YouTube channels direct. Get y'all skits off. Get y'all ranking on. This is what entertainment really about. This is y'all sport right here, bro. We understand comedians, and a lot of times comedians get a lot of slack. But who supposed to understand disrespect more than you and two comedians in it? Disrespect is y'all playground, if you know what I'm saying. Y'all don't go too far with it. Let's keep the show on the road. The algorithm go algorithm. The timeline go timeline. And the internet go internet. I came up watching comedy my whole life, bro. I'm here following the nonsense when it comes to these jokes and things like that, man. And I was thinking about Bernie Mac today. I said, hey, bro. If Bernie Mac was in this mix, nigga, there's a note not to play, nigga. He'd get to zipping everybody up and putting everybody together if he had to jump in there and dive in that water. Boys ain't want that pressure with buddy Bernie Mac if he had to dive out there. Nigga really came up, bro, just watching Comic View, Def Comedy Jam, and all this stuff back in the game, all the TV shows. So I'm here for all this nonsense, man. I ain't gonna even lie to y'all, bro. Like that nigga Bernie Mac said, how y'all comedy niggas together? <laughs> No, nah, for sure. So, tell me what y'all think. We got more coming, more videos. I'll let 1,000 for shit show. Stay on your Have you ever been on tour with any of these guys? The guy, I, every guy I mentioned to you is not funny out there in real life. So, mm -hmm. no. Faison's never done his own tour in 30 years. Steve Harvey don't do stand-up no more. Cedric doesn't write. I'm sorry, he doesn't write. Ricky Smiley has been playing the same old black woman forever. Like, you can't get a young fan base with that. Like, you.